There are many winter sporting activities in the UP, both outdoor and indoor. One that's gaining popularity involves rocks and brooms. It's a quirky, quirky game. I like to, I like to throw the hits. They're, they're fun to throw down there and watch things ricochet around. <laughs> We're at the Copper Country Curling Club in Calumet, Michigan. Yep, 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 yep. I had never even heard of curling until probably 10 years ago when I saw it for the first time on the Olympics. And uh, then when I moved up here to the UP, um, I found out there was a curling club, and so I like, well, that's, it's a fascinating sport. And so I came and uh, tried it out at one of the club's open houses. And uh, it's like, yeah, this is, this is fun. Came to learn to curl and then just started getting put on league teams pretty quickly and just fell in love with it. Curling has really gained popularity over the last two decades. However, the sport has been around for 500 years. So how do you play this quirky game of curling? The winter sport, it's played, uh, it's a team sport, so typically a game would be four against four. And what each team is trying to do is trying to get their rocks closer to the center than the other team's rocks. So if, you're, if you have the three closest stones to the center point, you get three points. If you have the one closest, you get one. And the goal is to outscore your opponents uh, over, over the eight ends or however long the match is kind of like a baseball game. You play nine innings in baseball, eight, eight here. Yep, yep, yep. During each end, a total of 16 stones are thrown into the house, those rings at the end of the ice. And like any game, there is more strategy than meets the eye. I, I think I probably throw the most guards, um, which, because I'm usually playing first position and when you're the first one to sh shoot, they cough and call, call for a guard. A guard is when you put, you're putting a stone at the front of the rings so you're protecting the stones that go into the rings. They're only hard if you don't throw them much, um, but they're a little tricky because most people throw them into the house, so it's a, you have to be a little more subtle, the shot. This crew of curlers makes throwing the stones look easy. Trust me, it's not as easy as it looks. Like golf or bowling, proper technique is crucial. If you watch any on TV or if you watch the Olympics, everybody has really perfect technique. You want to strive for that, but some people will do it a little different just based on their bodies or based on what, what they feel comfortable with. I have a long way to go before I make the Olympic curling team. The stones are made out of granite and weigh between 38 to 44 pounds. So even though it's called throwing stones, you don't really throw them. Curlers push off what's called a hack, sliding the stones out in front of them down a sheet of bumpy ice toward the house. What we do before every game, we sprinkle a little bit of water on the ice with a pressurized backpack, uh, water sprayer. And those little bumps are actually what the curling stones rides on. If, they're, if it was just perfectly flat and smooth, the stone would just grind on the ice. But it actually rides along those little bumps, so it's kind of like hydroplanes. So there's not as much surface touching the, touching the ice as if it was just flat. So th those, the pebble, as it's called, is very important in curling. So important that this is where the sport gets its name. The pebbles on the ice cause the stones to curl or deviate from their intended path. And this is why the players sweep. I know that is the question you've all been waiting for. I enjoy sweeping. Uh, it's a lot more physically demanding than it might look. What the sweeping does is if it's done properly, if you're putting a lot of pressure on the ice and working the broom really hard, the stone will go farther and it'll keep up its speed and it'll go straighter. So if it's not swept at all, it'll curl more and it'll go a shorter distance. So the sweep, the good sweepers can carry the stone uh, 10, 12 feet further than if it was unswept. The Copper Country Curling Club started in 1996, and we curled at a couple of different places. 
And then there was a few years where we weren't curling at all because we just didn't have a place to curl. So the search was on for different for, for a new place and uh, somebody came in here and measured it up and said, this, this might work. You may have noticed the historic and rugged appearance of this curling rink. Kind of looks like an old copper mine building. That's because it is. This curling rink is truly one of a kind. The building was built in 1885. And of course, back then, copper mining was everything in this area. One of the largest copper mining companies in the Keweenaw was Calumet & Hecla. At its peak, the mine employed over 4,000 people. And this building was built by the Calumet & Hecla Mining Company, CNH as it's, as it's known. And this was known as their drill shop or their, or their drill house. They manufactured drill bits in this building and those were the bits that went down into the mines. They drilled them into the walls. They dynamited out the ore. And they manufactured the bits and they sharpened the bits in this building right here. The industrial giant closed for good in 1968. The drill house sat unused until the Copper Country Curling Club gave it a new purpose in 2006. Just used for storage. Like a lot of the mine buildings that we still have in the area, a lot of them are crumbling and falling in. And this one we were able to save. Do you think mine workers 100 years ago thought about what would happen to this building a century later? If they did, I don't think they would have guessed folks would flood it with water so they could throw stones down a sheet of ice for fun. We have 100% natural ice. There's no refrigeration going on. So we put our ice in in about uh, early or mid-December. Our leagues start in January, and then we play as long as we can, hopefully till the end of the month. Every night is different with the changing temperature and humidity. The ice plays differently every night. So uh, what worked the week before, you're going to have to adapt the next week to, to be able to make your shots. This year we had 64 members and our population is pretty small. So that, that's, a, that's a nice membership for the size of the community. This is my second season. I'm, I'm playing in both league nights, two nights a week and just having a blast. It's, Tremendous fun. The curling club has league nights on Tuesdays and Thursdays and pickup league on Saturdays. If somebody wanted to really learn to curl and play into the future, we have what's called the Learn to Curl League or Learn to Curl Night. That's on Wednesday nights. So if anybody was interested, we of course would be talking about next season. And if they are interested, go to our website. You can Google Copper Country Curling Club and find it. Yep, 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 yep. I think I love the camaraderie. I love that it's appeals to people of all ages and kind of some people are really sporty and some people are really nerdy or really smart you know so it sort of combines skill sets um, everyone's just really friendly and low-key and we're just it's, it kind of brings everyone together over one thing you can play well into your you know elder years some hits going on down there so a person in their 50s 60s 70s is definitely capable of playing and at the young age we, we're right next to the Calumet schools so we have seventh graders, eighth graders, ninth graders coming over in their gym class. So we got young kids, we got older people like myself and quite a nice range. We have a nice social kind of social club there now. So we hang out afterwards. It's just, it's just real enjoyable. You know, just having some good fun and uh, you know, friendly competition. It's just great. It can be real competitive, but our club is considered more fun than high-end competitive. Even though Gary said they aren't really competitive, the game in the background quickly turned into a friendly competition. Well, we'd get two if we hit that. If you're curious at all about curling and want to give it a try, email the club to get on the list next season or follow their Facebook page to find out when they host open house events. You'll get totally addicted.